sheer beauty of this moment brings a tear to my eye. I see a lot of myself in that tortoise. I see a lot of myself. What is going on guys? My name is Zompa and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. In the previous episode, a massive battle was had on the field and over a mass grave of 10,000, no less, ogres. With Lair stood one man, a man straight from the fucking 80s, y'all. This man has the capability of punching and kicking so quickly, he breaks the speed of sound, hence the perfect sound effects every time he moves a muscle. It's almost just like this. I kicked, but you couldn't see it, but you heard it, didn't you? <laughs> I've learned the ways of Chunk, the man who killed 10,000 ogres. His name was Chunk, guys, by the way. If you didn't know who it was, it was Chunk Norris, 80s action star. Drove a Dodge Ram Charger out of a shallow grave. Pretty, pretty good guy. Sweet jeans, too. So anyways, my friends, we are back inside Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. You guys really seem to like the last episode. You left, what, 60, 60 thousandths of a million likes. You guys left a lot of likes on it, which means you liked it, I think. If we can get a bunch of likes on this one as well, I will do another episode sooner rather than later, just like the previous one. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, my friends. It's been updated since the last time I played, and you can you can see I was I was fiddling around a little bit earlier. That's a lot of fucking people, isn't it? <laughs> That's a lot of people. We'll get to that later, okay? I promise. It's incredibly cool. I just had to make sure it worked off camera. I've been exposed. I do prepare for these things. I'm pretty sure since the last episode, they added a few new creatures. They definitely added a new animal known as the tortoise. And apparently the tortoise has, uh, like he's really good or something like that. The tortoise has a special ability that the dev said is it shouldn't be taken lightly. So the tortoise is something we're definitely going to be um, trying out in this episode as well as, is there anything else new? Catapult? Is that new? Chunk Norris? <laughs> he's vintage. Wild man. Persians. Okay. Those are both new. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they only had Romans last time, or did I just not pay attention? Well, anyways, they have Spartans, Persians, and wild men. <laughs> I don't know what wild men have to do with ancient Greece, but I know Spartans and Persians, you know, they fight it out. We'll have to do something with them. Perhaps a Gates of Thermopylae reenactment, and obviously custom. So you guys can see here, there's two custom units, Leonidas and Robin Hood. You can actually create your own units in the game, and well, that's a little bit misleading. You can customize, sort of, some units that already exist in the game, and I created Robin Hood and Leonidas, and I'll show you uh, exactly what they do. Let's do one army of 250 Robin Hoods versus an army of a shit ton of footmen. We'll do 200,000. How about that? Does that sound Robin Hood? <laughs> 250 Robin Hoods versus 200,000 footmen. Let's see how this will go down. And also, guys, if you want to uh, leave a suggestion on some sort of battle you want to see me do, leave it. Leave a suggestion down below in the uh, in the comment section, and I will read it and consider it. This is kind of crazy. That's what 200,000 people looks like, apparently. Where's my archers at? Oh, <laughs> right here. Sorry, guys. I was hovering over them. Okay, let's see how badass this is. Gonna take a while. Get him, Robin Hood, get him! Steal from the rich and give to the poor or something. Even though this, these are footmen. These probably are really poor people. These might even be conscripts. Just waiting for Robin Hood to make his way within firing range. <laughs> then you guys will see why he's so special. <laughs> it's pretty obvious once it happens. Oh, oh, someone's shooting. Who's shooting? How can you hit him from that far? You guys might be able to tell aside from the ridiculous amount of lag that the Robin Hoods shoot their arrows really fast, like Legolas fast in Lord of the Rings. Maybe a little bit faster even. Actually, a lot faster. <laughs> it's fully automatic, for sure. <laughs> I'll put a few less men so we can actually see what's going on here. My first battle's a failure. We'll do 20,000. How about that? Oh, that's not nearly as bad. Katie's turkey battle, boys. Oh, see? <laughs> It's a little faster than Legolas. Jesus Christ, Robin Hood, relax! Don't kill all of them. He's definitely gonna kill all of them. Let's go in the uh, in the ranks of footmen here. Oh my God, can you imagine this battle in real life if this actually happened? There were so many footmen and just units in general attacking a small band of archers with fully automatic capabilities. <laughs> that would be horrible. I would just turn around and go home if someone could shoot arrows that fast. These guys would have to have giant Santa sacks of arrows. Let's speed up time a little bit. <laughs> that is so incredible. Holy shit. I don't even know if a single Robin Hood has died yet. Has there been any deaths on the on the Robin Hood side of things? I don't think so. I like how they're not even using their bows at this point. Kind of looks like Jacksepticeye too. Shooting arrows at you. 
<laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh my god, look how fast they're dying. I just now realized you can see the counters up there. They've killed 17,000 men with their bows. Okay, we don't even need to finish it. The Robin Hood is an absolute badass. He's a real monster. He should be stopped! Next, I'll show you guys my Leonidas here. Leonidas is pretty special. He's, uh, he's like, uh, he's a Spartan, obviously. He's the leader of the Spartans, 70 years old approximately at the time of the Battle of Thermopylae in 480-something BC, 480-something, I don't know. He's pretty spry for being a 70-year-old man. You'll see what I mean here in a second. <laughs> and you're off, Spartans! Oh my god! <laughs> That looks so fucking ridiculous. Look at them. Oh my god, look at how quickly they're making their way through the units. Relax, Leonidas. It's okay. I honestly thought that Robin Hood was going to be way better than Leonidas, but Leonidas is a fucking badass. He's a monster. <laughs> look at this shit. Oh my god. I don't. Whoa. What a. Whoa, he's flying. They're fucking flying around now. Flying Leonidas on the battlefield. <laughs> The game is broken. There are two levitating units now. Are they all flying around? Yeah, cuz no one's not whoa. I broke the game guys. I broke the game. Leonidas helped me break the game. Thanks, buddy Fucking dick call upon the Oracle of Delphi. Now. He's got flying powers Dickhead. All right, let's try something else now. That was intense. We'll try 100 tortoise versus 500 footmen. I'm assuming the footmen are going to win. I honestly have not even tried the tortoise at all, so I have no idea. I don't even know what it looks like. What's a tortoise? I think that's a land-dwelling turtle, isn't it? Big giant. The ones that go, <laughs> They sound like old people fucking. <laughs> tortoise, I don't know. I've seen the videos, but I'm not sure. Oh, there they are. Okay, yep, yeah, that's them. That's those old groany bitches. Oh man, this one almost has his head and the other one's ass. Let's see what happens. The tortoise are making their way to the footmen. The footmen are stabbing the shit out of them. I don't know what's happening. What is happening? Are the tortoises dying? This is really slow. They're not dying though, I don't think. They can probably take a bunch of damage. Cause I mean, you think about it, you're just hitting it on the, on the shell. Die, stupid tortoise! Why does it feel like I'm hitting a rock? <laughs> All right, let's speed things up a little bit. If any one of these men gets killed by a tortoise, he should be burned at the stake. How can you die from a fucking tortoise? It's biting me in the knee! Oh my god! It can move three miles per hour, but it's still killing me somehow! Just turn and run, guys. They're, sl they're tortoises. Just turn and run. I don't think a single one has died yet. Oh, no, wait. This one died. <laughs> this one's laying in a slump. A big clump of tortoise. All right, well... I don't think the tortoises are going to be able to, uh, to beat the footmen because they're, they're, they're tortoises, they're tortoises. <laughs> Realistically, all these men could just run because how fast is a tortoise? Can it walk like two miles per hour or something? I don't know much about tortoises, but I know they're really slow. Look at that one. That one's sliding across the ground. Okay. Okay. Footmen are going to win. That's not a fair battle. <laughs> tortoise versus homo sapiens sapiens with a sword. Uh, I'm looking too good for you, buddy. I'm talking to the tortoise, of course. <laughs> That's his response. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very childlike. I want to try to customize a tortoise. How about that? Can I even do that? Chicken, wild man. What's a wild man? Oh, shit. Fucking dude on steroids with a worm in his shoulder. <laughs> and two weapons. Is that supposed to be a Viking or something? I have no idea. It's a wild man! Obviously! It's an Anglo Saxon man. There it is, tortoise. What does a Persian look like as well? Oh, man. <laughs> Hello! I'm from Persia! Let's make the tortoise's health 10,000, the damage 50, attack speed. This is where it gets really cool. The attack speed, let's make it 100. So this will be super tortoise. Super tor toys. <laughs> tortoise. I think that's correct. Let us go ahead and try out the super tortoise. We'll do one super tortoise versus 10,000 footmen. And oh no, let's try, let's do 10,000 Persians versus one super tortoise. This is gonna be epic, guys. Can one single tortoise take on an army of 10,000 men with wicker shields? <laughs> Probably not a normal tortoise, but this is super tortoise. He has diamond tortoise mouth. What does a tortoise have, a beak? Do they have beaks or something? All I know is they look like they have dick heads, literally, and dick arms, and a dick tail. And probably a dick dick. Oh my god, look at these guys. We're ready to get the tortoise. I'm gonna kill the tortoise. These men have been commissioned by the immortal King Xerxes to take on the super tortoise of the Mediterranean and uh, kill him in his reign of terror. Holy shit. I thought I increased the speed. I guess I didn't. 
Um, oh man, he's fucking bitches up. <laughs> the super tortoise, he's making his way. <laughs> he's slowly drilling a path through the center of all these men. Good job, super tortoise. And I think this is only 1,000 men. So that kind of sucks. Super tortoise is gonna win. Let me make him a little bit faster and we'll try that again. There he is. <laughs> I would shit myself as that tortoise. That's right, boys. Good luck against the super tortoise. He's a badass. See ya, boys. Oh, man. There he goes, making his way through. <laughs> He's drilling through the ranks like a tortoise out of hell, guys. The person stand no chance unless they can kill him. Can I possess the tortoise? He's too fast for me to grab. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait. I missed guy. They killed him. Oh my god, Super Tortoise died! He needs more health! What the fuck? That's disappointing. Get ready, Super Tortoise. It's for real this time, buddy. It's for real this time. I'm gonna possess him. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be alive! Die, Super- Uh, wait. I can't kill them. They're killing me. Oh my god! How am I supposed to kill these bastards? Okay, I wanna unpossess him. That's right. I trust him to do it on his own. Now we wait. The Super Tortoise leaves a trail of leg blood wherever he goes because that's the only area of the body he can actually bite. 500 dead! Only 9,500 more to go, Super Tortoise! You got this, buddy, you got this! What? That's bullshit! Super Tortoise only killed 700 people? Well, fuck these guys, then! That's right, you can also launch nukes now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could do it when I played, but I just didn't do it. Can I make the Super Tortoise better? Again? Let's go ahead and try one more battle, shall we? <laughs> One super tortoise at the water's edge versus 1,100,001 uh, people. Footmen. Uh, this is not gonna work, I don't think. But let's try it. <laughs> I sure do gosh darn diddly dang hope it works, god darn it. I wanna see the super tortoise annihilate some people. It's probably gonna be too laggy, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be too laggy for sure. I'll wait like 10 minutes while the battle's going on and see what happens. Oh, there's our tortoise. He spawned. I wish you could change his color. That'd be cool. Uh-oh. It's pretty laggy now. Is there, is there people? Oh. My. God. Oh shit! That is a million people! What the hell? How can you put a million people in this game? And also, what the hell? How can you can put a million people in this game and make them fight a really good tortoise? <laughs> Away, tortoise! Where is he? Where's the tortoise? Oh my god, my computer is totally gonna explode, isn't it? It's totally gonna explode, guys. I'm almost positive it's gonna explode. Has the tortoise killed anybody yet? No, of course not. The turtle still has not moved yet. You can see him down there, he's a little speck. Come on, buddy. Wanna kill somebody? <laughs> I'm getting zero frames per second as well, so... This is, uh... A million people is a little bit too many, I think. It's moving. Oh my god! Super tortoise is moving! Whoa! He's doing a jig or something. Oh my God, guys. He's off to the races. <laughs> He's like, boop, boop. I mean, tortoises are already slow as shit. Okay, I'll let this sit for like five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour or 20 minutes until he kills all million. How about that? The sheer beauty of this moment brings a tear to my eye. I see a lot of myself in that tortoise. I see a lot of myself. Now that's about as ultimate and epic as the battle gets right there, guys. The super tortoise moved about 10 feet. What? Am I seeing this for real? Please, please kill everyone, please. I figured the only way to resolve this horrible situation was to just drop a nuke on everybody. And it seems to have worked. What about the super tortoise? What's his thoughts? Will he die, I wonder? I sure hope he dies. He sucks. I hate the super tortoise now. You see that mushroom cloud super tortoise? I just dropped a nuclear bomb on a million footmen because you couldn't get it up. You couldn't do your thing, you bitch. You stupid tortoise bitch. God damn. You let us all down. Fucking stupid. I'm just gonna drop a bunch of bombs on him. Drop a bunch till my game explodes, till my fucking computer burns in flames. Okay, that's too many. Something's gonna break for sure. I should not have done that. Well, anyways, guys, that was another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. This time, we tested out the tortoise, and he killed, like, he, he, we faced him up against a million people, and it didn't, it didn't pan out exactly as I expected it would. Then again, he is a tortoise, so. <laughs>
He's an amphibian. I really hope you all enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. If you did, leave a like down below. Why not watch this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode when I... <gasps> it's a wild man, obviously.